Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is Fetuma Asha. I'm a Ugandan designer. This is my very first YouTube video guys, so forgive me for any mistakes that I made here. I'm new here, so I'm going to be learning every single day. And I would love if you would tell me the content you would want me to create or the things you would want me to talk about. This is not just going to be about fashion guys, it's going to be about, um, of course, fashion first then entrepreneurship how to create businesses out of small 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 ideas how to travel on a budget i'll take you through that um, we'll talk about family and friends how to handle family and friends with business then we'll talk about um, beauty skincare how to take care of yourself it has taken me a lot of guts and a lot of I don't even know how to say it because I'm very camera shy and um, avoid interviews as much as possible. I avoid TV, but the fact that I'm doing my own channel where I'm able to talk about things that I want, no one is interviewing me, things that are saved, whatever it is, but um, I'm really excited and I don't know how this journey is going to go. But with God, I just pray every single person that subscribes to my channel is able to learn something new or something that adds value to their lives or something that is fun or something that is it's not going to be just serious things and all that something that um, maybe will make them think of life in a different way why do I always wear black and white because it's my favorite co uh, color combination I feel like I look amazing in black and white I look nice in black and I look nice in white and um not a big fan of very bright colors. I do them for my clients, but personally, I just feel like, I think it's just being safe. I need to explore more colors. <laughs> Today, um, to answer the most questions that are asked in my inbox, so I'm going to leave them here. So each time you need to learn something about me or fashion, you just come here and check it out. I had my assistant collect a few questions from Q&A, Instagram q and I'm going to answer a few. Can we see your closet, please? My personal closet? <laughs> I'm going to show it to you before the year ends. But it's full of black and white, you know. How many jobs have you done in life so far? so many my very first job was a baba i don't know if they're called baba if they're women are they called babas i don't know i was a baba my very i had my very first job when i was 14 and i used to do it over the weekend i used to cut my friends here and kids at school i used to play it here as well so i had like a mini salon running in the school from um my S2 to my S6, that is what I mainly used to do to earn an extra living because I don't come from a well-off family. I had to do all those things. Then I used to adjust clothes still for a living in high school still. That was my second job. Then um, I had a small mobile boutique that I used to collect clothes during the holidays and I would sell them to kids at school or to my cousins. Then um, after high school, my very first job, I worked with Britannia. If you know Britannia, the company, I worked with Britannia as a salesperson. These people that sell and market things. So I, I was a marketeer basically. I used to convince people to buy new products that Britannia was bringing out. Then after that, I moved to, sugar, to fashion. How did you start your fashion business? Was it easy? Oh boy, it was not easy. I started my fashion business at the university during my second year in my tiny, tiny, tiny hostel room that was half bricked, half um, metallic, half wooden, because it was a garage. So, but somehow, somewhere I had to make it look nice and I had like a small bench where my clients used to sit and I used to sit on my bed and my sewing machine was on the table because I didn't have enough space to put a chair. 
Immediately after university, I rented a small space in town in a shop that had over five people. And I was in a tiny corner where I used to sit. I used to meet my clients there that they could fit over my head, behind me. Yeah, it wasn't that easy, but I'm grateful for the life lessons. You have magic hands. My mom still talks about your scale. This is from Pasca, my former bride. Oh, Pasca, thank you so much. This is not a question, just someone appreciating me. Thank you, Pasca. What inspired you to do fashion? What inspired me to do fashion? Mainly, my grandmother inspired me to do fashion. She used to do most of her clothes, hand stitching actually, she used to hand stitch. So I started hand stitching when I was five. I think by the time I made seven, I had perfected my hand stitching. I can literally hand stitch a whole gown without using a sewing machine. My grandma inspired me to do fashion. Hi Asha, I greatly admire you and I would love to be mentored by you. How do I go about this? Thank you so much dear, I would love to mentor you too. I think the best thing to do is join my fashion school, Tessie Fashion School. It's located on Salama Road, just after Haki Petra Station. We take in fresh students that have no knowledge about fashion, then we take in ones that know something about fashion but want to upgrade their skill, maybe polish their skill. That takes at least six months. Then for someone that is fresh, that is just beginning in fashion, it takes at least two years. Are you married? <laughs> oh. Please make more ready to wear. I love your ready to wear collections all the time. I'm going to make more ready to wear next year. Wait for it. Where do you source your fabrics from? This is the thing about fabric. It's not even where you source them from. I think it's about how you source them. And um, if you know how to pick fabric, it doesn't matter where you get it from. I buy fabric from everywhere, literally everywhere, from Kenya, from here, from Congo, from Thailand, from Dubai, from Turkey, everywhere. But I buy a lot of it from here as well. When did you start doing fashion? I think I answered that. I started doing fashion when I was a little girl, but um, commercially, I think I started doing it during my second year at the university in my tiny hostel room. What is your biggest accomplishment? I think my biggest accomplishment is my fashion school, Tessie Fashion School. I'm so proud of that school. I'm so proud that I'm able to mentor young designers, I'm able to give knowledge that I wasn't able to receive when I was studying. Most of the things I know, I taught myself. That is not a lie. I taught myself most of the things I know. So I think this is my biggest accomplishment. Where do you get your inspiration from? What inspires me? Like uh, to create a design? I get inspiration from old fashion, basically from centuries ago, say 16th century, say World War, say, all those, thing, those, those centuries. And, but um, I get inspired by fabric a lot too. I look at a fabric and I know what to create with it. When I look at it, I just dream of uh, these things come to my mind. I'm not inspired by trees. I keep telling people I'm not inspired by roads. I'm not inspired by buildings. No, it is basically um, old-fashioned, classic. Um, and um, fabric. When is your school resuming? Now let's wait for COVID to cool down. Eh? Let's first wait. Where is Tessie Fashion School located and how long is the course? Now there are so many questions about Tessie Fas Fashion School but I'm just going to read you the number of Tessie Fashion School. You call the number, they can give you all the details you need to know. The number of Tessie Fashion School is 0706 Seven one six two zero eight. I had to write it here because I knew that is going to come. Zero seven zero six seven one six two zero eight. Where did you go to school? Like fashion school, high school. I went to Mariam High School. It's located in Kisasi. Then fashion. I went to Makere University. 
Bachelor of Industry and Fine Arts and I majored in fashion. I'm an upcoming designer. Kindly give me a piece of advice. The piece of advice I would give an upcoming designer, do not be scared to start. Do not be scared to approach people. Don't feel like you know too much, like you can't approach people. Approach people and tell them I would love to make this for you. Maybe this is a person that has a platform. This is a person that is going to uh, give your clothes exposure. This is the person that is going to take you somewhere. So approach them. Don't wait for them to approach you. Even if it's your friends, not even just celebrities and all that. You can tell them I want to make this for you. Then you tell them the amount of money you will charge them. And another thing, don't give out things for free. Never give out anything for free. Don't give out things on credit. Your friends will always pay. Oh, sorry. Your friends will always say, I'm going to pay you, and they will not pay. And do you know what happens after that? They will not come back to you. They will go to someone else to make their clothes. Another thing I'll tell an upcoming designer, be your own self. Don't look at the internet, don't change who you are. Be your own person. Be creative enough. Don't look at things and just feel like I have to do this just because everyone is doing this, I have to do that. And another thing I'll tell you, pray and pray and pray. Prayer works. There are so many questions in here, but I think um, this is going to be my last. What would you be if you were not a designer? Ah, I think I'll be a designer in my next life too. <laughs> But what would I be if I were not a designer? I think a surgeon. I wanted to be a surgeon so badly in high school. I remember I used to do sciences very well. But fashion called me. It's my calling. To every single person that loves fashion, I'm going to teach you a few things about fashion. I'm going to teach you how to make simple cuts to styling them. So subscribe, tell a friend to subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Thank you so much to every single person that was able to watch this today and tomorrow, everyone that is coming to watch in the future. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscription button below. Thank you so very much. Bye-bye.